first alert weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. I'm just so glad I remembered to say daylight saving, saving. not savings. You knew I would have. It's not a bank. Said, you knew I would have said something yes, about that. Yes, nailed it. Yeah, daylight saving time. And look at what the difference it makes in our uh, sunset and sunrise time. So sunrise for those early risers, 620 will be the sunrise time tomorrow. And then 434 for your afternoon sunset, what seems to be an afternoon sunset. But by December 7th, this is going to be when our when our sunrises get back to 7 o'clock in the morning and our sunset sets will be about the earliest that we see around 411. Of course, December 21st is our shortest day of the year, the winter solstice. But this is when we get that seven o'clock sunrise back as those days continue to close in. It does happen pretty quickly and definitely sneaking up on us as those temperatures were in the upper 70s and low 80s the past few days. And now we're seeing temperatures closer to where we should be for this time of year in the 50s. Tomorrow morning, a cold one and tomorrow afternoon is still going to be a little cooler than even what we saw today. Day, but a warm front lifting by the middle of next week brings in the potential for A, a sprinkle, and B, some warmer temperatures through the middle of next week until that cold front does push overhead and gets us back closer to normal. So we're going to see this weather whiplash continue. Temperatures right now 51 degrees in Boston, 46 for Bedford, 46 in Fitchburg as well. And heading through the overnight hours for Boston right along the coast, 36 degrees for that low temperature. So it is going to be cold, but if you're in the suburbs, that's where below freezing temperatures are going to be around. <laughs> you have to be ready to bundle up as you're heading out the door tomorrow because also we have a light breeze. So most of us feel like the low, middle, maybe upper 20s in spots, but lots of low 20s for central Massachusetts, middle 20s for areas like Norwood. That's what it's going to feel like when you factor in the cold temperatures, when you factor in the wind that we're going to see out there tomorrow morning. So yeah, it's going to be a little shock to the system after seeing those warm days and now these cooler temperatures that are going to be sticking around also for Monday morning as well. But by the middle of next week, low temperatures in the low 60s. So a big swing in temperatures coming the same way that we saw that between yesterday and today. And we are likely going to be staying at least slightly above normal, even towards the end of the week and into next weekend. But it is going to be a lot closer to normal than, say, the middle, even upper 70s. Normal high temperature, 57 degrees or 56 degrees, excuse me. So we're going to be pretty close to that these next two afternoons. But then as we get into the rest of the week, we'll see things warm up and then we'll finally get back to the upper 50s by the time that we head into next weekend. So tomorrow, if you do have any outdoor plans, grab this sweater, a coat for the morning or jacket for the morning, a sweater for the afternoon because those temperatures making their way to the upper 40s. Some of us making it to 50, but we're going to be in the low 50s if that. And then the sprinkles come into the picture possible for Monday as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, starting to see those temperatures jump to the 70s and do so quickly. So Tuesday afternoon, we start to see that sunshine shine returning and of course staying sunny and mainly dry for the next at least seven days but towards the end of the 10-day forecast we are seeing the potential for a bit of rain that we definitely hope sticks around because of the drought outlook that we're seeing severe drought for parts of boston so those rain chances much needed on the end of the 10-day forecast all right thank you sid